Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Your boy looks a little musty right now, but it's okay because it is the morning and I'm in a vlog mood. I don't know if I'm gonna do enough crazy events today to make one full vlog, but I'm just gonna be vlogging pieces. If this needs to be a two-part video, it needs to be a two-part video. If it doesn't, then we'll rock it out. But right now, your boy is on the way to the gym trying to get this health grind back and on track. Yeah, it's been good lately. I've been working out with David. It's It's been amazing. I, I've been feeling really good. You wanna say hi, Butters? You always wanna say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, hey. She got a nice little bath yesterday. She got her nails trimmed. They're all groomed and good to go. Look at these nails. Look at these nails, Butters. Part of me wants to get this arm sleeve and I'm like, all right, if I'm able to lose a little bit of weight, I'm gonna get the arm sleeve. The leg sleeve is all healed up now. And I got, what, four days, four or five days until I can go in the sun. Let's go. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, get a quick pump in, get in a haircut today. It's just one of those days where I'm bringing y'all along, man. And we're just gonna, we're gonna vibe out and see where the day takes us. Let's go. A few moments later. All right, and just like that, we are all done. Now I'm walking through the garage right now. Let's play a little game, y'all. You get to pick one car, any of these cars, you could pick for free. Comment down below which car you're going with. I have a feeling that some of the answers might leave me a little shocked. We have my GTR, it's Beamer right here. I believe this is a three series. Corvette, little TJ Hunt action right here. I8 or this Porsche. Comment down below what car are you going with. You get one car for free. And maybe leave a reason down below as well. Okay, so one of the most helpful things that I purchased has to be this magnetic marker board, whatever you wanna call it. I basically have every single day marked out on here and I made a little key for me right here. So we got check mark means I worked out. That means I have boba because I, I have a boba addiction, bro. I'm trying to see how many times I have boba or limit it. Uh, a is eight out, that's also another problem I got. And then this little dumbbell H looking thing means that I lifted. So if we take a look at this calendar right here, we have eight out, eight out, eight out, eight out, eight out, eight out, like bro, that's too much. So on this day, David and I, we were like, okay, from now on, like let's just kind of limit how often we eat out. And if I get a smiley face, that means, hey man, I did not eat out and I cooked at home. So we're doing pretty good so far. Today's the fifth day. Uh, a lot of incline walking right here, incline walking. That's what all the check marks are. I only missed one day and then all of these I have two on it. Those are double days. So I jump rope and I lifted weights, uh, incline walk and then walk after, weights, walk, weights, walk, weights, walk. And then this, just lifted some weights. Your boy's trying to be a little bit more active, man. Just be a little bit more healthy. We are getting a little bit old if you think about it. I'm 25. If we plan to live until 100, which I don't know if that's that's really realistic, that means that we're 25% done of this game called life. So, man, this it's moving fast. Like 20, if you think about it, 25%. I know this is a weird comparison, but we just gotta think about it sometimes. 25% of life lived right there look at that does, does that does that put it in perspective for you guys like whatever you want to do in life maybe you've been thinking about i don't know changing something or working on something like dude, just just do it and now i'm just using this water to water my plants yes butters she's freaking out why why are you talking so much straight up why are you talking so much anyways i need to get showered up i need to upload a video on my main channel then go get my hair cut but I do have some stuff coming soon for the GTR in the next week. And I know I haven't been showing the GTR a lot, so we'll talk a little bit about it. But let me just uh, get ready for the rest of the day right here. And I'll tune in with you guys in a second. For everyone wondering if I still have the GTR, yes, I do have the GTR. And one of the things that I've been meaning to do for the longest time but haven't done already is fix the fitment. This is a beautiful car. Everything looks extremely nice, you know, the wrap, the body kit, but the fitment isn't minty where I like it. So let me just show you guys what we're working with. You see, it's a little sunk in. We could definitely fix that. I ended up getting new tires because the Toyos were cooked. So I got Michelin Pilot Sports. 
And the rear, this is how the rear looks. So the rear is a little bit better than the front, but we could definitely fix that. So what I'm doing right now is taking a ruler and I'm measuring how much space we have so I could buy the right spacer. So let's see. We have about an inch of play. Once we get that spacer, it'll fill up this entire gap right here, which has been bothering me. And then next week, we need to get an oil change. And then I'm also going to install that steering wheel that's been sitting for the past couple months. So I'm excited for that. I totally forgot to show you guys the before, but y'all saw how musty it was. But we just got a brand new haircut. Did the little eyebrows, little wax on the eyebrows. Keep it fresh. So shout out to the boy. Jay the Barber. I've been getting cut with him since I think I was maybe 15. So I'm 25 now. 10 years. 10 years. That's actually insane. Okay, I'm going to try to go get a car wash right now because the car's looking a little crusty. We've got dog hair all over the place. It's rough. Yes, sir. Quick little car wash over here at Rotten Robbie. Touch this car wash. And here we go easy as that i need to take the gtr to a special spot since that one has wrap on it look at that look at that look at that look at the beats look at the beats this is how friday is looking man this is this is just me me and my friday we're doing a little barbecue later with mr david got a kick so i'm excited for that i didn't really eat too much i'm just kind of i'm just looking forward to dinner time some stuff that we still gotta finish. I wanna clean these cars. It's like, man, there's so much dog hair in here. Freaking butters! We are now in the GTR. Accidentally set off the Tesla alarm down there. My bad. But we need to go get a car wash for this car. Yo, quick bathroom review in here. This is actually, this is super nice for a car wash. Like, while you're pissing, you can take a look at the cars that they washed. I give this bathroom like maybe an eight out of ten. This is this is pretty good. All right, so I've been out here for the past hour or so, just cleaning up both of the cars. So the GX super clean. I hit it with a quick detailer after the wash, put some tire shine on the tires, vacuumed, and wiped everything down inside. So this thing is all good to go. Look at the paint. If you've ever owned a black car, you know what's up. Ah, inside is all clean. Man, I gotta do this more often. I feel like I do this once every three weeks, but I gotta do it once every other week or something like that. I don't know. It's just been, it's been tough, bro, but I'm glad this is done. The GTR is looking super duper nice. But yeah, did the same thing to the GTR. After that wash, I always like to wipe it down with a quick little detailer and then we did the engine bay engine bay wasn't bad at all but quick little wipe down I'll show you guys the engine bay i'm not sure if i showed you guys this before maybe maybe i haven't maybe i have got ready blow off valves and a bunch of other stuff <laughs> i'm not gonna go over it in this video but if you guys want a walk around that happen just gotta vacuum the gtr wipe down the interior and then i'll be all done all right both the whips are done now to add the final touches if you guys have never smelled these before these things smell amazing i have a link down below i buy these things in bulk every time you clean your car you throw this in bro changes the game i'm telling you what's your name david h 27 have you ever Dude, <laughs> stupid. What's going on guys? It's dinner time. We got the lights up. I just hung these up in the backyard. Chef's kiss, you like it? You like the vibes? Yeah. Oh, headbeesrs.com. <laughs> <laughs> this one just needs to get heated up. So this is like, we're cheating. It's chicken skewers. And then over here, this is the big boy. Beef bulgogi from Costco. Let me tell you, let me tell you, yes. already marinated, has onions in it, so good. But yeah, we about to get funky over here. What 
this grill. Let's see. Anyways, we're gonna cook this meat up real quick, head back inside, and we'll show you the spread. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. We got the spread for dinner. We got a little bit of rice, got some meat, some potatoes, some fish cakes, some lettuce, some cucumbers, and seaweed. Wow. Last, last but not least, the main course. Oh, we got the George Washington <laughs> strawberry edition. <laughs> Yo! It's like Columbus strawberry. It's my favorite president because he was on the five, one, ten dollar, a hundred. Just shut up. To end this video right here, we're gonna be doing a quick little tryout of these snacks. Now these are from trytreats.com. They hit me up and they were like, yo, you wanna try some international snacks? And I was like, all right, bet, send it over, what's good? So today we got a mystery box right here, snack form. So if you guys would like to check that out, the link will be down below in the description. It's a subscription snack service that basically gives you snacks from all sorts of areas of the world. I'm not getting paid for this. I literally just got this box right here, sent out and yeah, we're gonna try some snacks. Okay, so this is the box that we are opening. Let's see what we got here. What's inside your treat box? Ooh, this is from Thailand. Do I got any Thai viewers? Comment down below. According to them, you can use my code sneakerhead in the bay to get 15% off if you guys want to try this out. Again, it's a subscription service for snacks. I love me some snacks. We got we got a decent amount of stuff in this box. So I'm just gonna bust these open. We're gonna try them out real quick. These are Usagi Gandium Wheats. Caramel flavor. Ooh, ooh, that's really caramelly. Kinda just dissolved in your mouth. It kinda tastes like a corn puff, little caramel corn puff, and uh, has a consistency of maybe a big Rice crispy. I'm not a big caramel fan, but I would give this uh, maybe a five out of 10. This looks crazy. Obviously, this is a bag of Lay's, but it is the Thai version, I guess. It looks like it's spicy because it has Thai chilies. Oh, it says sweet basil. Hmm, this one might be interesting. And look, it has some air in there, that's cool. Let's try this one out. Ooh, ooh, this one smells good. Yo, these ones are lit. Even the chips, they're just really, they're really nice. They're, they're packed with flavor. Hmm. I like these. Sweet basil, 10 out of 10. What is this? This looks like some, uh, maybe a seafood snack, maybe squid. Oh, squid seafood snack, sweet and spicy flavor. My mom used to always get this, not this specific brand, but she would get uh, dried squid. So I don't think this thing is gonna be anything too crazy for me cause I'm used to it. But if you've never had it before, it kind of has like a certain funk to it. Yep. Smells like dried squid. Look at that. And it kind of rips. It's sticky. So I could tell it's gonna be a little sweet. That's from the sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. Yo, that one just hit me. That one's really good. That's what it looks like. 
This one is spicy, but I love me some spicy food. I know to a lot of people, this would be too hot, but this is perfect. Even this one, bro, 10 out of 10. We got a few more snacks to try. This one I've had plenty of times or something very similar to it. This is very similar to the ones that they saw at 99 Ranch, the spicy seaweed. Comes in a roll, super crunchy, see, like that. And you just, mm-hmm. Wow, this is only 10 calories. That's crazy. And this whole thing, 10 calories? Nice and light snack, 10 out of 10 for these. Besides the caramel, I wasn't feeling that one, but everything else, amazing. Even these, they're gonna be amazing. Some potato sticks, or chicky, chicky sticks? Spicy, tasty sticks. Let's see what's up with these. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm wow. Wow. One thing I love about the Thai culture is that it's very similar to the Vietnamese culture. A lot of the flavors are there. It's sweet, spicy, some they use a little bit of fishy. It's very flavorful. So this reminds me of a lot of the food that I ate growing up. These are good. These are really good. 10 out of 10 on those. Now we're getting to the end of the box. We have some little goods right here. We got some Pocky sticks. These are obvious. I think everybody has had Pocky sticks before. If you haven't, you're missing out. You gotta go to your local Asian grocery market and try these. These are a childhood exclusive. If your mom packed you these as a kid, you know she loved you. Get these, just. It's such a simple snack, you know? Just a pretzel stick with chocolate on it. But still so fire. 10 out of 10 on these as well. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have some sort of wafer. Almost looks like a Thai Kit Kat. That's what it reminds me of. Basically like a Thai Kit Kat. Ooh, we got a white chocolate one. Let me try this. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Mango gummy. Boom. That was nice. Would I go out the way to buy a gummy though? I don't think I would, but they're good. They're good. If they're laying around, they're good. And then the last one, these are classic. I used to love these as a kid. They're the Coffee Co. Coffee candies. They're hard, but you just let it sit in your mouth. They're half white and half brown. See that, half white, half brown. And sometimes you go to a restaurant with your parents, you go to an Asian restaurant, they have that at the front. All right, everyone, that's going to end this vlog today. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Say bye to Butters. Say bye. Speak. There we go. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next video. We're out. Peace.